Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi guys, it's Christine. We're here today in today's lesson. 20 words you'll need for the beach, which is obviously where I am right now. I don't have all those 20 things, but we'll go through the list and then you can keep your checklist for the next time you're heading to a beautiful place like this. Sonbrille, sunglasses. Say the mooiste sonbrille. She has the most beautiful sunglasses. She being me, I definitely do. They're very comfortable, it's really nice if you have this little string thing to keep them there because then when you're on the beach, it's a kind of cloudy day like today, you don't really need them but then every now and then the sun just peeps out at you and you just go, voila, I can see. But not today because it is cloudy and I don't really need them. Strand. 
beach. Ons gaan morgen Durban strand toe. We're going to Durban beach tomorrow. Well, if you are going to Durban beach tomorrow, lucky you. That's the nicest place where the water is all nice and warm and you can swim in the sun, surrounded by lovely, wonderfully happy people. So if you're going to Durban Strand tomorrow, then you're a really lucky person. I'm not at Durban Strand and the sea here is a lot colder, so I won't be swimming today. But if you go, enjoy. Swim. Swimming. Ek swim in the sea. I'm swimming in the sea. Clearly, like I just said, I'm not swimming in the sea today because it is freezing here. But if you're at the Durban Strand, then the sea is where you want to be. Son. Sun. The sun gaan jou brand. The sun is going to burn you. Well, the sun is quite strong in South Africa, so if you are planning on tanning, you better get that sun cream out because it will burn you. You'll get nice and brown, maybe, if it's nice, if you've got a strong skin. But it's better to be safe than sorry because no one wants a sunburn. It's very, very painful and itchy when you go to bed. Palemboer. Palm tree. So sit on her palemboer. She's sitting under the palm tree. She being me isn't sitting under a palm tree. But if you're at the Durban Strand, there's probably a couple of palm trees around and you know there's lovely um, tropical beaches and there's lots of pineapples or coconuts or things. If you're in one of those places, you can definitely be using this word, palemboer. And maybe you can go sit under one and then you can be the she sitting under the palm tree. Sea skull. Seashell. This is a pink sea skull. This is a pink seashell. Well, as you can see, I do not have a pink seashell to show you. At the moment, it was very rough high tide here last night, so all the shells are a little bit under the sand and all over the place, and I couldn't really find a nice pink one to show you today. But I challenge you to go find me one and let me know later in the comments if you found a beautiful pink seashell, a beautiful pink sea skull. Swimbroek. Swimsuit. Ek het een nieuwe swimbroek gekoop. I bought a new swimsuit. I did buy a new swimsuit at the beginning of the year when it was full time summer blazing in the sun all day, every day. Right now I'm not going to show you my swimsuit because like I said before it's super cold here and it's not my time to swim. But it might be yours so go get your new swimbroek and get in that water and splash around. Oceaan. Ocean. The Oceaan is mooi en blauw vandaag. The ocean is nice and blue today. Well, it's, it is. I mean, I don't know if you can see very well, but it's beautiful and blue. A lot of those times where it's like spring tide or something and then the water goes all murky and brown and ready. Ugh. But not today and not most of the time. So if you're at the ocean, if you're at the strand, uh, have a look at the sea, see what color it is. Try to decipher what shade of blue it is. I love playing that game. And then you get everyone around you to say a color and then you actually search the color and see which one of you got the closest one. I never win. But um, it's, it's quite nice to notice the little things. So notice the actual color of the ocean water or the sand around you or even the plants and things on the tree. Like notice what their little leaves look like, what the little bird walking on the sand's little feet look like. These little little details really add to having the most wonderful, fulfilling beach day experience. So check out the sea, check if it's blue, and if it is, then the ocean is moi and blue. Waterpony, jet ski. My son will graag op die waterpony rijden. My son would really like to go on the jet ski. Uh, jet skis are quite dangerous things but they are super super fun if you get to ride one so you must always just be sure that the waves aren't too crazy there's not too much going on around you and if you have the lucky chance to go on a water pony then enjoy it don't go wild we all want to live to tell the tale um, but if you do get to you're very lucky make sure you have fun make sure you're safe and then come back and tell us all about it Strat Handu beach towel. My strand handuk is not nat. My beach towel is still wet. Well, I have my beach towel here today and it's not still wet 
and one funky thing about beach tiles is they're not like all the tiles we have at home. They're colorful, they have lots of patterns, and the fun thing is, if your swim brook isn't so colorful and you decided to just go for the plain black one or plain yellow one, you can always jazz up your beach look by having a funky towel or a funky bag or a funky hat or funky sunglasses, sombrilla. Um, so that's one great thing about the Strand experience. You always have these colors and patterns and just add them all together and make your look unique, which is great and beautiful and fun and attracts lots of people. Strandstoel, beach chair. I get a green strandstool gekoop. I bought a green beach chair. I don't have a beach chair here today, unfortunately, but they are great if you don't like sand and you don't like getting sand all in your legs and your feet when you're sitting down or on your towel. And every time you come back to your towel, you have to get off all the sand and then the sand goes in your friend's eyes and then blah, blah, blah. blah. It's just all craziness. One way to avoid that is getting a strandstool. You can sit comfortably, you're not too sandy, but you're sandy enough to still say you're on the beach. So if you're one of those people who doesn't like the sand in the air and all the air, go get a green strandstool or another color, but green ones are nice and you'll fit in with the nature around you. Sand Castile, Sand Castle. The Kinesh Bow is Sand Castile. The children are building a sand castle. Who doesn't love building sand castles on the beach? You don't have to be a child to do it. I actually did it yesterday with a little kid. So I was playing with him, but I think I was the one enjoying it more than he was. You can build big ones, small ones, lots of little ones, add them all together. You can make those drippy ones with wet sand. Like sand castles are endless creations of fun and creativity. So if you don't like building a uh, one with a bucket and a spade and all that stuff and you're one of the looser creative types you can use your hands using tools the best thing about sand is you can do almost anything with it so go when you're next to the beach go make a spectacularly amazing sand castile and show your friends take a photo post it on Instagram do whatever but most of all, before doing all those things, just enjoy it. It's such a nice thing to just play with your hands and do things and make things. And it's such a nice stress relief. So not only are you in the fun, in the sun, having fun, swimming in your Niva swim group, using your hands, stress relief, creativity. It's just what a better way to spend your day at the beach than making sun custom. Getai. Tide. Die getij is baie hoog vandag. The tide is very high today. Well, actually, it's not where I am right now. It's actually quite low tide. But yesterday, it was such a hoog day. I came to the beach and we could only walk on like this much sand because there was so much water everywhere. And sometimes it's nice to be here at low tide because there's lots of sand for you to walk on and play on and run on and do whatever you want to do on the beach. But actually, it's also really nice to come in the hoog day because then you're seeing all the little bubbles and all the little snails that come out of the ocean and the whole beach becomes alive because there's so much life in the water that's now surrounding the beach that you're usually running on. So it's quite cool that it changes so much in one day, but that space of sand is enjoyed by not only us when it's low tide, but also by all the little sea creatures living in the sea sand that we don't really notice until it's work a day and they come out and swim and play and whatever. So it's quite a cool thought to think of, don't you think? Tan. Tan. I get a lekker tan gekry. I got a nice tan. Well, thank you. I mean, I hope I did. I don't know. I didn't spend too much time in the sun this summer because it was a super hot one and I didn't want to damage my skin. But it's always nice when you spend the whole day at the beach and you come home and you're not so like red like a lobster but actually you think you've like got some color and it looks good and people are complimenting you and it's a great feeling so just make sure that when you are in the sun you're tanning and not burning because it doesn't feel the same the response is not quite the same people laughing at you instead of winking at you or whatever the positive thing is so just make sure it's a tan and not a burn. 
snorkel, snorkeling. We gaan allemaal morgen snorkel. We're all going snorkeling tomorrow. Lucky you. How cool, like all the little creatures I was talking about earlier that live in the ocean and the shallow waters and the little rock pools. If you've got a snorkel, you definitely have to go take them out because you can see what they like, what they like doing, all the little anemones and the little mussels. And if you've got a snorkel, you must definitely go snorkel more. Plucky, flip flop. Say it on plucky for Louis. She lost her flip flop. Shame, poor girl, because I have mine here. They're the two saving graces of the beach day. You never really use them, so they're kind of annoying while you're on the strand. But before and after, while you're walking to the car or walking to the home or wherever you're coming from, they help you on the rocky, gravelly roads and they save you until you get to the soft, silky sand. Sun scatter. Sunscreen. My man had the sun scatter gebring. My husband brought the sun cream. What a nice guy. Like I said earlier, we want to tan, we don't want to burn. So we got to make sure that someone, if you don't have a husband, that's okay. Um, just make sure someone, or you even, remember the sun cream. Remember to put it on a little while before you come into the sun, because otherwise, ouchie lobster time tonight. Bikini, bikini. Bikinis is all they can even murder. Bikinis are always in fashion. They are. I actually did a study on bikinis the other day and we learned how over time they've gone from being a full swimsuit to being a two piece to being a big and a small piece to being a two smaller pieces and they seem to always be getting smaller. I wonder who's designing them. But anyway, they are nice if you want to get a tan and not a burn. They are nice if you want to get some color. They're nice for some freedom and you have complete looseness about your body and you can swim and feel the water. They're great things, just make sure that you're wearing them right and for the right reasons. But they are beautiful and if you've got the body, flaunt it. Roemais. Ice cream. Arbeid Roemais is the lekkerste. Strawberry ice cream is the nicest. That is actually my favorite ice cream flavor or milkshake flavor even better when you push it all together into a drink. But what a good beach it is if there's a little stall selling ice cream and it's such a hot day in the sun, you're all sweaty and all you want is something cold, but unfortunately you've got the cooler box with all the cool drunker. So now what are you gonna do? You're gonna buy an ice cream. What's your favorite flavor? Strawberry ice cream. Ice cream on the beach, Romais op die strand is the best solution to the sticky uncomfortableness of the hot sun. Sun. Sand. I get sand in my schooner. I have sand in my shoes. Well, if you've got pluckies, you're not going to have sand in your shoes because they're just going to fall off, obviously. But it's the main ingredient for those sand castella that you want to build, so it's always good to have them. Not going to have them in your schooner, but sand is the thing that makes the beach day the beach day. Whether it's flying around and irritating you on your towel, whether it's in your schooner, whether it's in your rumais, whether you're using it to build a sand castle, a sand castile, it's the main ingredient. So look at it, appreciate it. Notice the color, notice the granules, notice the little sea sculpture in it. Just basically enjoy your beach day using all these 20 words. So we've come to the end of the lesson today. I hope those 20 words were relevant to your beach day and that you'll use them the next time you go. And I hope that you go soon because the beach day is the best day, best beach day, duh. Enjoy. Hello, I'm back. It's me, Christine. And today's lesson, the 10 hardest words to pronounce in Afrikaans. So it's gonna be a difficult one. And remember to get those mouth muscles moving because we're gonna be using them quite a bit in this lesson today. Goeie. Goeie. Good. Dit is goeie nies. That is good news. This one's hard to say because it's got the ch sound that's so popular in Afrikaans language. Um, just pretend that you're really angry or irritated at something and you're going, ugh, and then keep that sound and go, goeie, goeie. And it's a goeie thing to learn it because it's used all the time. News. 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 
Ek het baie goeie nies. I have very good news. I hope you have very goeie nies to tell me because if you do, it means you've learned the ch and the news, which is what makes that word a bit harder than others. So this one is e. You're going making this weird shape with your mouth. E. Goeie nies. Gebruik. Gebruik. Use. Can I your car gebruik? Can I use your car? This one's a little bit as awkward as that question because you don't really want to give someone else your car just in case something happens, but you do because you're a nice person and they're your friend. So this is that word. You you really want to learn it because it's the word for using any word. So the word is gebruik, the ch sound as before, and now we've added a new sound, oi. Oi. Gebruik. Rak. Rak. Shelf. Die rak is vol stof. The shelf is full of dust. This word has the, it doesn't have the ch that we've been talking about, but now we've got a new sound in Afrikaans that a lot of people in different languages struggle with a little bit, and it's a rrr, as if your tongue is jumping up and down in your mouth. Rrr, rak. More, more, morning. Ek gaan more kom keier. I'm going to come visit tomorrow. This one has a r like before. It's a little bit easier, but it just, you have to remember to read more because in English it's spelled like more. So don't say more, say more. And the older generations of Afrikaans people, they might say it a little bit differently and they sometimes say more, but it's more commonly used as more. Lekker. Lekker. Nice. Delicious. Die kos is baie lekker. This food is very nice. This word is a must. You must learn how to say this word. Lekker. Lekker. Because it is used all the time in South Africa. Everything is lekker. Not just the kos that we were just talking about. The weather is lekker. The party was lekker. The drink is lekker. My friends are lekker. It's just a word that we use all the time. So it's definitely lekker to know the word lekker. Roll. 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 Die pen het gerol. The pen rolled. This one is funny because roll, roll, all you have to do is roll your tongue on your mouth so it makes the r sound like before. Roll. It's quite nice to say actually if you say it a couple of times in a row. Roll. Gek. Gek. Crazy. Die man is gek om te spring. The man is crazy to jump. You're saying that because you're watching some bungee jumping show or someone jumping out of an airplane. They are gek. And gek is also a bit of a gek word to know because it's of the ch sound and the ek, which means me. So it's like you're saying you are gek, but you're not really. But it's a gek word. It's a gek lekker word. Crazy nice word. Lach. Lach. Laugh. Ek lach elke dag vir my hond. I laugh at my dog every day. Lach is such a lekker word. Um, to laugh is such, it's the greatest thing ever. So it's important to learn this word because maybe learning how to say it will make you laugh and then you'll have a happy memory and remember the word and it's a win-win situation. Ras. Ras. Noise. Die bure ras baie. The neighbors are very noisy. Just like me sitting here in the park today where there's a lot of people around me having picnics and everything and there's, there's quite a lot of noise going on but at least the ras isn't too much for me to make this lovely video and teach you some Afrikaans. So ras. So we've made it to the end of the 10 hardest words to pronounce in Afrikaans. If you haven't managed them, that's okay. They're very hard and like I said, they're the 10 hardest. So keep on trying, keep using that mouth and 
say all those things, say it weirdly in the mirror, look at your mouth when you're saying them. And that sometimes helps because it helps your muscle memory to remember how to do them. And if you know any other words that you found that are hard to pronounce, put them in the comments below. Like these videos, please subscribe and just keep learning Afrikaans with AfrikaansPod101.com. Hello, it's Christine and we're here to do some Afrikaans today in the lesson 10 things you always want to hear. So we're all excited about this one, obviously, because I'm going to be telling you things that you want to hear. <laughs> Jij lijkt goed vandaag. You look good today. Jij lijkt goed vandaag. You look good today. What's that? Oh, thanks. I just assume that you return the compliment. But it's always something that we really like to hear, especially if it's coming from that person that we've got our eye on. Um, but it's also just nice to tell people. If you walk past someone and you think they're looking good, let them know that they look like goed vandaag because it's always nice to make someone else's day ek miss jou i miss you ek miss jou i miss you long lost friends long lost lovers parents in different countries whatever today's world we're all over the globe our friends live in china our brother lives in england today it's really common to know people that live really really far away from us and it's nice to sometimes receive a message saying, oh, they miss you, but it's also really nice to send a message to let someone know that you miss them. So get that phone out, think about that friend, and let them know, ek miss jou. Jy het a goeie werk gedoen. You did a great job. Jy het a goeie werk gedoen. You did a great job. That's always the best one you want to hear at school or at work, because it means that you're on the right track, you're doing something good, and... At the end of the day, you might get rewarded. Daar sal a bonus aan die einde van die maand wees. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Daar sal a bonus aan die einde van die maand wees. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. If, like I said before, jy doen goeie werk, then maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, it means you're going to get that bonus at the end of the month and you can go on that extra long Christmas holiday this year. So, keep up the goeie werk. Jij is een uitstekende kok. You are an excellent cook. Jij is een uitstekende kok. You are an excellent cook. Now, that's one that you want to say for when your parents come over for dinner for the first time in your new flat, or you're inviting that boy over that you've had your eye on, um, and you're cooking them a fancy dinner, and it's the first time that you're using this new saucepan you bought yesterday, and they tell you that, and just, oh. What a relief. The food was great. The guy thinks it's great. All your parents think it's great. Anyone is happy to know that their food is good because it means that you're going to get to enjoy it the most because you get to have your food every night. Fat a break. Ek sal vandag skoonmaak. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Fat a break. Ek sal vandag skoonmaak. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. That's the best to hear from your partner or your parents or your flatmate. What a great day it is when you get to just lounge on the sofa, watch some TV, catch up on those sports, do anything you want, even some painting or crafting. If you don't have to do the cleaning up, make a mess. <laughs> no jokes, be nice because next time it is your turn and then you're going to have to clean up someone else's mess. So just enjoy the day off. Enjoy it when someone tells you that they'll be doing the cleaning because next minute it'll be your turn again. <laughs> and yay then! and you win. En jy win, and you win. Whatever you're doing, whether it's Saturday night and you're playing board games or you're playing card games on the beach with some friends, it's always a great one to hear that you're the winner because it means that you did your best and you won. So you've earned it. Jy was reg. You were right. Jy was reg. You were right. You won that argument. You were right when you said that this was the case and they said that was the case. It's such a nice feeling. You get all bubbly inside when someone you've been arguing with or just made a point tells you that you were right. It's like the I told you so and it's the best feeling ever. Who doesn't love that? Ek het jou iets besonders gebring. I brought you something special. Ek het jou iets besonders gebring. I brought you something special. What an exciting thing to hear. You've just come home, you've had a really long day and your friend's coming over and they tell you that they bought you something besonders. How exciting. Open it up straight away and just remember, if you don't like it, still look surprised because they think it's besonders. Die begroting is onbeperk. 
The budget is unlimited. Die begroting is onbeperk. The budget is unlimited. You've got an unlimited budget, an onbeperkte begroting, to do whatever you want to make this party, this function, this shebang, the best one there is. Because you've got everything you need, you can get anything you want, go crazy and enjoy it while it lasts because it doesn't come around often. So we've come to the end of today's session of 10 things you always want to hear. There's obviously plenty more things that we always want to hear. So let us know in the comments below if you like to hear these things or if they irritate you. Hopefully not because they're quite, they're quite nice things to hear. Um, but if you agree with some of them, if someone recently told you them and let us know how you felt because that would be really cool to like let other people feel that joy that you felt as well. Um, so like, comment, subscribe and keep visiting our channel AfrikaansPod101.com Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com Hi guys, I'm Christine and I'm here to do some Afrikaans with you today in today's lesson 10 ways to save the planet which is super appropriate because we all know it's Earth Day coming up on the 22nd of April so get ready to learn what you can do to put in your part and let's save the planet together. Harvin. Harvin. To recycle. Harvin. To recycle. Dit is baie goed om te harvin. It is very good to recycle. It is very good to recycle. We all know it's really easy, but so many people don't do it and we don't know why. All you need to do is when you have a plastic bottle, a glass bottle, a can of coke, just put it in a separate pile into your rubbish and then take it to the right bins. You don't have to do all the hard work of sorting through everything or actually putting it through the machine. Someone else does that for you. So you really do have the easy part. Just put in a little bit of extra effort and don't just dump it in the rubbish bin with all the other gross food that you put in there. Vrijwilliger. Vrijwilliger. To volunteer. Vrijwilliger. To volunteer. It can buy a tight fat on a vrijwilliger to be. It can take a lot of time to be a volunteer. It can take a lot of time, but just imagine how much time you spend every day watching Netflix or series that, yeah, they're good, they're funny, and they let you relax, but what a better way to spend your extra time than to just put some hours in volunteering every day, making a real difference to something or someone. And you can even get so much out of it yourself. Like, you'll feel so much better, and it's just, it's such a great way. Just Put some hours in, put even some minutes in, just volunteer at least once a week or something, or even once a month. Um, it's just, it's such a warming experience and you should really try to be a vrijwilliger every now and then. Beskerm. Beskerm. To protect. Beskerm. To protect. Ons moet ons planeet beskerm tegen ons We have to protect our planet against ourselves. Sadly, we all know this is so true. We are the bad ones to this beautiful earth of ours. We're the ones that put cars and houses and roads and all these things that are ruining our beautiful earth's environment. So we need to start doing things, anything little, like being a vrijwilliger or being a little bit more active in our recycling to just beskerm our planet. Hergebruik. Her ge Break to reuse. And another thing we can do is hergebruik to reuse. Ons kan baie van ons plastic hergebruik. We can reuse some of our plastic. It's so easy, like I said before, to just put your plastic on a separate pile. But what an even better and quirky and very cute way is to reuse that plastic. I certainly do all the time. Every little yogurt pot I have in the mornings or like a big bottle of water that is quite a cool bottle, nice shape, nice pattern or something. Do something new, like check up on Pinterest, just Google in there how to reuse a bottle and it comes up with millions of cool examples of what you can do. Make some cool plant pots, make some watering systems for your herbs or literally anything. I recently made some cool tables out of old wood pieces that I had. I don't know why but it's really easy to reuse things and plastic even better because you know 
plastic's not so great. So if you can reuse it in a quirky, cool way, you don't have to buy a plant pot, you can make one. Win-win. Bewaar. Bewaar. To conserve. Bewaar. To conserve. Die natuur moet bewaar word. Nature needs to be conserved. We do, like I said before, we need to protect our planet, but we also need to conserve our planet. Make sure there's always some greenery around you. Make sure you support that local park or the gardens in the, next to the street and don't throw your rubbish there or make sure no one builds a house on a nice, beautiful mountain. We need to conserve our nature, conserve our animals and just make sure it's still there for our children and our grandchildren. People say these things all the time, but it's so true. You need to make sure that the future will still be able to have this beautiful world that we're living in right now. Om eco-friendelijke producten te gebruik. Om eco-friendelijke producten te gebruik. To use eco-friendly products. Om eco-friendelijke producten te gebruik. To use eco-friendly products. A goeie manier is om eco-friendelijke producten te gebruik. A good way is to use eco-friendly products. What better way? I mean, don't use them bad straws that they hand out at the takeaway that you got. Don't ask for that extra pair of plastic fork and spoon when you go buy the burger on after a night out or something. Or even just at home. Try to use things that you can reuse again. Use glass things that you can wash instead of things that you can throw away, store things in old butter thingies instead of buying Tupperware and putting it in there. If you reuse things or use products that are eco-friendly like bamboo or glass or all these things that aren't going to contribute to ruining our environment, it's such an easy way to feel good about the things that you use and put in yourself. Um fiets te rai. Om fiets te rai. To ride a bike. Om fiets te rai. To ride a bike. Om fiets te rai spaar geld. Riding a bike saves money. It really does. You don't have to pay for petrol. You don't have to pay for car insurance. You don't have to pay for any of those things. All you have to pay for is a helmet, some little lights, maybe a bell, and your bike. And then voila, you're right there. You've got your exercise in for the day. You're not contributing to pollution and you feel better. People smile at you as you drive past and you get to work with a smile on your face because you have those endorphins pumping. Just ride a bike. It's better for you, it's better for the environment. Win, 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 like I always say. <laughs> Om te gee vir die omgeving. Om te gee vir die omgeving. To care for the environment. Om te gee vir die omgeving. To care for the environment. Meer mense kan omgee vir die omgeving. More people can care for the environment. If we teach our children to, if we stick to all the rules that we've just been through, then yes, maybe we can encourage and inspire others to be like us, to do the same things, to be those earthy people that makes everyone cringe a little bit, but also have so much pride for, because they're the ones that, after all, are they the ones that can make a difference in this world? Om energie te spaar. Om energie te spaar. To save energy. Om energie te spaar. To save energy. Daar is baie maniere om energie te spaar. There are many ways to save energy. There's many ways to save energy. For example, it's so easy when you leave your bedroom switch the light off while you're brushing your teeth, close the tap while you're brushing and then just quickly rinse your toothbrush again afterwards. We're not just talking about electricity here, we're talking about anything that you can save, anything that's left on when it doesn't really need to be, switch the TV off, switch the radio off if you're not really listening, if it's just a little bit of background noise. Saving energy can save so much, not only does it save you money, but it'll also save all the extra things going into the air that we don't even know about. So just try, switch the light off next time you leave the room or like I said, don't leave taps running. Water is so scarce. Um, if you're not used to it being scarce, come live in Cape Town. Om a boom te plant. Om a boom te 
plant, to plant a tree. Om een boom te plant, to plant a tree. Kinders geniet dit om een boom te plant. Children enjoy planting trees. Not only children, I also love planting trees. What a nice way to add to give back to our mother earth. People don't plant trees often enough. People cut them down, left, right and centre, make me a house, I need some wood, cut me down a forest. No. It's so easy. Just go to the local nursery, buy a little plant, buy a little tree, go find a piece of ground and stick it in. It's so easy and it helps our earth and it helps the air we're breathing be a little bit more clear. Planting trees is such an enriching experience, so much more than people think. So if you have children, if you have a niece or a nephew or your friend has a baby, not a baby, a child, um, take them to plant a tree, watch how much they enjoy it, watch how much you enjoy it, and then try and make it a ritual. Do it every week, do it every month, do it every year. It doesn't have to be that often, but if every person plants a tree, think about the big difference that we can all make. So we've reached the end of today's lesson, 10 ways to save the planet in Afrikaans. I hope uh, with the 22nd coming up, with Earth Day around the corner, I hope that you're going to put some of those things in practice, please. Let me know in the comments below if there's something that you resonate with. If you've planted a tree lately, let me know, please, so we can all congratulate you and everyone can know that you're a great human. What about some other tips to recycle, other things that we can do to reuse our plastic? If you like things I said, if you didn't like things I said, Please click, follow, subscribe, do all those things and visit AfrikaansPod101.com and keep learning Afrikaans. Hello, I'm Christine. We're here to do some Afrikaans in today's lesson, 10 things to do in the summer in South Africa, which is wonderful because today is a such a summery day. I'm sitting in the park, enjoying myself, talking to you guys, teaching some Afrikaans. So let's see what other things you could do if you ever happen to be here in the summer. Reis in die buitenland. To travel abroad. Ek hou daarvan om in die buitenland te reis. I like to travel abroad. I love to travel abroad and I, I bet you do too. I mean, I think everyone does. If South Africa is abroad for you, then you'll love it even more to travel abroad over here and do all the things and see all the places and meet all the people. And yeah, traveling's the best. You're seeing new cultures, learning new languages like Afrikaans. Um, reis, travel do it all the way, all the time, as much as you can, while you can. Ontspan op die strand, to relax at the beach. Hulle geniet dit om elke dag op die strand te ontspan. They like to relax on the beach every day. Who doesn't like to relax on the beach every day? On a sunny, wonderful day where it's not too hot, it's not too cold, we're just in the perfect temperature. The water's a bit cold over here, depends on which strand you go to, but Ontspan op die strand is such a summery thing, such a thing that you should definitely know how to say if you're planning on spending the summer in South Africa, because a lot of us do it. There's a lot of these surfer people everywhere. So enjoy it. Enjoy your ontspanning op die strand. Om Afrikaans te leer op afrikaanspod101.com To learn Afrikaans on afrikaanspod101.com Dit is lekker om Afrikaans te leer met afrikaanspod101.com It is fun to learn Afrikaans on afrikaanspod101.com Well, of course it is. We're here right now, aren't we? I'm in summer, isn't it? Um, so if you're here, watch these videos, learn these things. In the summer, it's lekker to leer Afrikaans and on afrikaanspod101.com And then you can go out in the evening or in the day or the next day and use the things that you've learned. So... What a better time to do it is when you're here, and what a better time to be here than in the summer. Om te leer South Afrikaanse kost te maak. To learn to cook South African food. Sy moet leer hoe om South Afrikaanse kost te maak. She has to learn how to cook South African food. I think everyone should learn how to cook South African food because South African food is a yummy. There's so many, we're quite big on the meats and the veggies and the yummy barbecued dishes so I think it's a must it's a love and it's a great thing to do it's good to learn it it's good to eat it so if you learn it you can make it and eat it so it's a win-win a bright day to have a barbecue dit is lekker om elke naweek te braai it's nice to have a barbecue every weekend if you're South African 
you definitely will be having a bra every weekend. I know I do. It's such a thing. Like I was just saying about the meat on the barbecue. It's very, very South African and you can't come to South Africa or you can't know South African peoples, people who don't have a braai Alka Naviak. It's just great atmosphere, great jaw, have some drink in the hand, the sun in the sky, braai. Very, very lovely. Nice memories. Nice memories to make. Nice memories to remember. <laughs> just have a braai. Partaiki di jelle nacht. To party all night. Om te partijken die hele nacht is meer voor jong mensen. Partying all night is more of a young person's thing. I agree to a certain extent. It is definitely younger people who like to partijken die hele nacht. But if you're feeling wild, if you're feeling free, if you're feeling like you want to get out there a little bit, why not? Do it. Even if you're not young, go out and partijken die hele nacht. Especially if you're on holiday here in South Africa by partijken die hele nacht. You'll be able to meet loads of new people, see loads of new things, learn of more things to do in South Africa in South Africa while you're here. Om te gaan stap. To go hiking. Ons moet kaartjies kry om te gaan stap. We have to get tickets to go hiking. There's a lot of hikes to do here in South Africa, especially in Cape Town. They, and I guess everywhere else. They're beautiful. There's such beautiful mountains all around us and beautiful trails and Definitely go get some karkies and gaan stap. Om deeltijd te werk te To work a part-time job. Dit is lekker om deeltijd te werk te It is fun to have a part-time job. Yes, of course it is, especially if it's a summer job and you're working in a restaurant a couple of hours, earning some extra money to spend that night. It's definitely lekker om a deeltijd te werk te Om pret te he met vrienden. To have fun with friends. Die beste naweek is om pret te hee met vrienden. The best is to have fun with friends. Of course that's the best thing to do. If you're traveling in South Africa in summer and you've got your friends with you, it's definitely die beste om pret te hee met vrienden. Bly binne en bly dier die internet. To stay inside and browse the internet. Dit is lekker om binnen te bly en die internet dier te bly. It is fun to stay inside and browse the internet. Of course it is. It's Most people think it's more of a, of a winter thing because it's cold outside and you're staying inside all cozy in bed and you're on the internet. But actually in summertime, if you've had a long day at the beach and then the next day you're a little bit sunburned, you're so tired, you're tired from that long night's partying. It's also nice sometimes in summer to just stay at home, browse the internet, watch some movies and have a good time. So we've reached the end of today's lesson of 10 things to do in the summer in South Africa. Hopefully you're here next summer. Summer's ending right now, but come. Come here in summertime. Do all those things. Send us photos of those experiences. Send us photos of you videoing yourself saying those things when you're doing the experiences so we can see that you've been learning. Um, so comment down below, like, subscribe, and just keep learning Afrikaans with AfrikaansPod101.com. Hello, it's me again, Christine. We're here today in the lesson, the top 25 Afrikaans phrases. So they're obviously the ones that you definitely want to know if you want to know Afrikaans. They're super simple, most of them, and easy to learn. The ones that everyone always like learns these words in all the different languages. So let's get started. Hello. 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 It's pretty straightforward. It's a greeting. It's what you say to everyone. It sounds the same as most languages, so it's pretty uh, an easy one to remember. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So this one's a little bit hard because it's got the ch sound, but in the morning we're all feeling ugh anyway, so it's a great way, great time to use this. Practice it next time you wake up in the morning and say hello to whoever you see the first thing in the morning and just say Goeiemorgen. Goeiemiddag. Goeiemiddag. Good afternoon. Goeiemiddag. Good afternoon. So it's very similar to Goeiemorgen, but this time you're changing the second word to middag adding an extra in there because now by by middag time the day's hard and you, all you want is some lunch so 
you're adding mochs in there and just saying khuya midach as if it's angry, but try to say it with a smile and then it's even nicer. Khuya midach. Khuya nach. Khuya nach. Good night. Khuya nach. Good night. So that's what you say before you go to bed, obviously. And by now, you're thinking of the dreams that you might have tonight or the comfy, warm bed that you're going to in a cold winter's day. Um, not like today, obviously, <laughs> but it's something that everyone wants to hear. It's nice to say it to the people around you before going to bed, like end your day on a nice, calm note by telling everyone around you, Wat is your norm? Wat is your norm? What is your name? What is your name? What's your name? So this is obviously the one that you want to know when you're going out in a new place, especially in South Africa or anywhere where, you know, there's Afrikaans people and you want to know who they are, what, like, know more about them. So it's always an easy icebreaker. What is your name? Get to know their name. Try to think of a way that you'll remember it by making up little anagrams in your head or whatever. It's what I usually do because I'm very bad at remembering names. But definitely a useful phrase to know. Ek is Christine. Ek is Christine. I'm Christine. And then if they ask you that question or if you've just asked that question, the likely response is Ek is Nam. I am name. So you'd insert your name, obviously. You wouldn't say Ek is Nam. You'd say, I would say, Ek is Christine. I am Christine. So Pretty simple response. What is your name? Ek is... And then say your name. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Aangename kennis. Aangename kennis. Nice to meet you. Aangename kennis. Aangename kennis. Nice to meet you. So now you've said hello, you've said goeiemorgen, goeiemiddag, goeienacht, whatever whatever time of day it is, you've asked them what their name is, you've told them what your name is, so now you're saying, it's nice to meet you. Aangename kennis. It's a simple conversation going on here, so it's very important to know all these little phrases. Who gaan dit met jou? Who gaan dit met jou? How are you? Who gaan dit met jou? How are you? So now in the conversation, you're at that part where you've realized that they have a cool name, they seem pretty cool, and you want to know a little bit more about them. So you ask them, who gaan dit? And then remember to listen, because people always say this, and then don't listen to the response, or don't really care about the response. Only ask these things if you care, because it's, it's way nicer that way. Goed dankie, en met jou? Goed dankie, en met jou? I'm fine, thanks. And you? And then the typical response, or hopefully the response, because it's positive. Goed dankie en met jou. Goed dankie en met jou. I'm fine, thanks. And you? So that obviously follows the previous one, um, answering how you are doing and then asking back to the person, because that's only polite. You don't want to be like, yeah, I'm fine, thanks, bye. You want to... Be polite, ask them how they're doing back if they asked it first. Otherwise, maybe don't say it if you asked it first because then it's just like a continuous cycle that's never ending. Asseblief. Asseblief. Please. Asseblief. Please. Very popular in South Africa because we're all very polite people here. But please remember, see, I said it there again. Please remember to be polite when you're asking for something or commenting on something that requires a please no it'll be a question so be polite remember your manners and say as a belief if you are looking for something donkey donkey thank you donkey thank you so there we go again with the politeness be very kind and warm when someone tells you something or compliments you or gives you an answer to that as a belief question that you just ask say thanks say donkey and if you can't remember the word think of a donkey that's how i always used to tell people 
and then just change the the sound a little bit because you can't say donkey you must say donkey Jij is welkom. Jij is welkom. You're welcome. Jij is welkom. You're welcome. So that's the response. If someone said danke to you, you're obviously going to say you're welcome. Jij is welkom. Because it wasn't such a schlep for you to tell them what they wanted. And you don't mind telling them. So jij is welkom. Ja. Ja. Yes. Ja. Yes. Pretty straightforward. Yes. Positive response to something. So, pretty easy. Nee. Nee. No. Nee. No. Also pretty straightforward, but try not to use it so much because it's going to be a downer on anyone. Unless it's something definitely that needs a no for a response. But, ja and nee. Pretty easy going. Used quite often, so good ones to remember. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. It's very simple because it's the same as the English and most other languages, just like I said hello. Um, okay means, yeah, sure, okay, we'll do this, or okay, I'll have that for lunch, or okay, you make the plans. It's used every day in so many different ways, so it's easy to remember, okay. Verskoon my. Verskoon my. Excuse me. Verskoon my. Excuse me. This is a part of that politeness again. If you are leaving the table or you're walking away from something because you don't really like the conversation going on, you just politely say, Verskoon my. As a belief as well, if you want to be even more nice. Even nicer. Ek is jammer. Ek is Yamer. I'm sorry. Ek is yamer. I'm sorry. So, unfortunately, this one means you've done something wrong or you've said something that's not so polite. But just be a human being and say sorry if a sorry is needed. And then remember, ek is yamer. Who laat is dit? Who laat is dit? What time is it? Who lot is it? What's the time? This is funny. The translation isn't exactly what's the time, but that's how we say it here in South Africa. You literally say, how late is it? Because you're always late for something or you're always thinking it's later than it is. So try to remember it that way. We're always late. So that's why we say, who lot is it? Like, how late is it? Waar is die badkamer? Waar is die Bat kamer. Where is the restroom? Var is the bat kamer? Where is the restroom? This one you'll probably use when you're out at the restaurants or at a random friend's house that you've never been to before and you really need a wee. So you're going to be needing this one. So remember, var is the bat kamer? Vag a biki. Vag a biki. Wait a moment. Wach a biki. Wait a moment. You're a little bit busy in a conversation and someone comes and chirps in and all you want to say is just hold on. So if you ever in these situations and you have friends that like to interrupt you, then maybe you should learn wach a biki. And you could always add as a belief as well if you don't want to sound too rude and like cut offy. You can say wach a biki, as a belief. Who feel caused it? Who feel caused it? How much is this? Who feel caused it? How much is this? Now you're in the shops. So you've been to the restaurants, you've been to friends' house, you've been everywhere, and now you're in the shops and you're seeing this beautiful new thing that you really want to buy. But, you know, you're on holiday, so you can't just be splurging money everywhere. So you're going to have to ask this question quite often. Who feel caused it? Help. 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 Luckily, this word, because it has so much going on and it's obviously urgent, is usually the same in most languages. So it's pretty straightforward if you know English. Help it sounds the same in Afrikaans and is used in the same way. Sin jou later. Sin jou 
later. See you later. Senyo later. See you later. You finish at the restaurant, you're going home or at the shops or whatever, and you're saying, ciao, I'm going to see you later. Senyo later. Um, obviously, one to use all the time comes alongside a goodbye. So remember, senyo later. And maybe I'll senyo later in some of the other videos. <laughs> Tot ziens. Tot ziens. Goodbye. Tot ziens. Goodbye. Um, directly translated, tot ziens means until I see you again, which is quite nice because you're always assuming that a goodbye isn't a bad bye <laughs> and you will reconnect again at some point. So tot ziens means until next time, but it actually means goodbye. Ek weet nie. Ek weet nie. I don't know. Ek weet nie. I don't know. It's okay to not know. We don't all know everything. So it's a good, this is a good one to know. <laughs> if someone asks you a question or asks you directions and you don't know because you're just a tourist here, remember to say, Ek weet nie. I use this all the time and it irritates my friends, but I'm honest at least. So, Ek weet nie. So we've reached the end of today's lesson of the top 25 phrases in Afrikaans. I hope they're useful for you because they should be. We use them all the time and I hope they're simple enough for you to remember. And good luck using them. Uh, I hope you meet loads of new people when you come to South Africa or speak to South Africans. And let me know in the comments down below if you have or if they've helped you or if you're struggling with any of the pronunciations or something like that. And keep learning Afrikaans on AfrikaansPod101.com. Hello, it's Christine again. We're here today again in 10 phrases that you never want to hear. Ish. So these are all going to be very negative. I'm really sorry. I don't want to offend anyone. But when I'm saying these things, I'm not saying them to you. I'm just telling you them so that when someone says them to you, you know that you should probably act in a, in a scared or sorry way because you don't want to know these things. Het jy onlangs gewig opgedaal? Het jy onlangs gewig opgedaal? Have you gained weight recently? Heet jij onlangs gewig opgetaal? Have you gained weight lately? It's quite a harsh thing to say to someone. Something you should learn but not say. Um, know it so that if someone tells you, you can be like, no, I haven't, thanks. And it's got none of nothing to do with you anyway. And if you have, who cares? Like, love yourself, love your body, and ignore people who ask you if you've picked up weight. Jij hebt een grijs haar. Jij hebt een grijs Haar. You have a grey hair. Jij hebt een grijs haar. You have a grey hair. This is quite scary, especially if you're getting a little bit older, but not that much older, and you're finding a grijs haar, and you're like, ah, my life is going so quickly. But it's not the end of the world. It's fine. Just pluck it out, or dye it, or actually just own it. Go grey. Grey is the new black. Well, I don't know. It's grey is the new grey, but... <laughs> Own it. Own yourself, own your body, own your hair, own everything. It's making you a happier person that way. Ek het jou gesê, ek het jou gesê, I told you so. Ek het jou gesê, I told you so. Hate hearing this from people because it means you were wrong. And ek het jou gesê, it sounds so condescending. But if you're the one to say it, you're feeling a little bit better. So I guess it's one to learn um, and hopefully use. <laughs> Jij is afgedank. Jij is afgedank. You're fired. Jij is afgedank. You are fired. So this one is quite terrible. No one really wants to hear that. And unfortunately in Afrikaans, it doesn't even have that punch like yes. Afgedank doesn't really sound as much as you're fired. But you, if someone says that to you, I'm really sorry. Good luck finding a new job. Um, and maybe ask why so that you can change something, I guess. Dit is nie jy nie, dis ek. Dit is nie jy nie, dit is ek. It's not you, it's me. Dit is nie jy nie, dit is ek. It's not you, it's me. Another one that we definitely don't want to hear if you're in a relationship and they're ending things with you or 
telling you something and it's it's not you, it's me. Ugh, you're right. It probably is you, but they're just trying to be polite. But if you're using this one, maybe don't. Like, learn it in Afrikaans. The Disney I need this act. But don't use it in that way because most of the time it's just something that softens the blow, but it doesn't really actually do that. Thank you for your CFA. Ons het die positie gevul. Dankie vir jou CV. Ons het die positie gevul. Thank you for your resume. However, the position has been filled. Thank you for your CV. Ons het die positie gevul. Thank you for your resume. However, the position's already been filled. Unfortunately, you've just been fired and now you're trying to find a new job and they're telling you that there's no more new job left and you're just not in a great space. And I'm really sorry if you're in this space. Um, I'm just wishing you all the best of luck and hopefully you never have to hear these things. I'm sorry. Ons moet ander mense sien. Ons moet ander mense sien. We should see other people. Ons moet ander mense sien. We should see other people. This is almost as bad as the it's not you, it's me thing. Um, except it's a little bit more open and honest and just telling people how you feel. So I guess if you're in that position, remember how to say, ons moet ander mense sien. Ek het nie jou geld vandag nie. Ek het nie jou geld vandag nie. I don't have your money today. Ek het nie jou geld vandag nie. I don't have your money today. That sucks if it's the end of the month and you've kind of run through all your spendings have been high and you've run through all your savings and your boss tells you that they don't have your geld vandag and it sucks and means you're going to have to be living on rice or popcorn or something for a couple of days. I mean, I've been there. <laughs> but um, yeah, not a great one to hear either. Hey, these things are making me feel like life's very hard right now. <laughs> Ons moet praat. Ons moet praat. We need to talk. Ons moet praat. We need to talk. Here's another one of those relationship shooters that we really don't like to hear. Um, even though sometimes they can be positive, you know, like we need to talk about moving in together or something like that. But since we're in this list, we're going to assume that ons moet praat means that we're going to be seeing other people or something along those unfortunate lines. Jou kar is gesteel. Jou kar is gesteel. Your car is stolen. Jou kar is gesteel. Your car is stolen. Definitely don't want to hear that one ever. It's a lot of money and a lot of issues and a lot of admin to get that fixed and get it back or get it found or get a new one or insurance or like, ugh, there's so many things that come with this stupid little sentence of your car is gesteel. So pay a car guard or park in a parking lot or try not to put your car in a place where it can be stolen. <laughs> So we've come to the end of today's lesson, finally, of 10 things that you never want to hear. Um, hopefully you never hear those things. I'm really sorry if you do. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've ever been told any of those things, whether in Afrikaans or in another language, and how you responded, what you did, and maybe you can motivate some other people to not have such a negative response to these negative sayings. And I'm really sorry, but they're good to know in life. Um, so yeah, and remember to do Afrikaans with afrikaansbod101.com. 